these roads are so fun because they're very random and they kind of like almost just connect pastures like cow pastures it's like connects one pasture to another they're kind of mysterious when you ride down these too because you don't really know what you're getting into you're not quite sure if it's going to be a throughway or not you get attacked by a dog it's awesome there's like a little grandmother up here with their grandchildren on quads just ripping this road in front of us All right, so we were once again in my mom's hometown of Jacksonville, Vermont. We just took this really cool class four road. If you don't know what a class four road is, it's like a unimproved, unmaintained, nobody touches it anymore. So if it's passable, it's passable type of thing. And Vermont's just loaded with them. New Hampshire is too where we are. And they're just really fun to explore. And they just dump you out into a random, beautiful view spot. We're trying to take another sort of end of the day ride. We like the vibe this time of day around here around the you know the sort of later in the day i was promised pork roast after this so that's why i'm here oh. <laughs> Yeah, that was really fast. They've had a lot of rain here recently, so the roads are real firm once they dry up. It's a nice ride. I feel like I'm flying. And our bikes are not that fast, so they're just sort of a cruiser. Gravel and chill bike. Look at that stone wall. Did you make that yourself? Huh? Nice. This road's great. Wow, this road is so fast. Another amazing night in southern Vermont. No, I have if you not. Have it, you should. I have done it. Actually, yeah, when we lived in Indiana, remember I picked that goat up and put him back over the fence? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I picked that one. His name was Neil. Neil the baby goat? My name is Neil. It was his first name Neil, last name Baby Goat. Neil Armstrong. They had a um, outer space theme. Wow. And so I named him Neil. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> that's a great story. Oh, that's really pretty. Whoa. Oh, it's not the Meadow Trail. Lake Park Meadows. Oh, it connects to the Shangri-La thing. No way, does it really? I just made that up. Wow, wow. <laughs> We're gonna get lost instantly. <laughs> you believed me though. Well, I mean, it looks like it. It looks like those trails over there. Where are we now? Uh, we're right here. Is this a train?
So there's 50% road, 50% gravel on this route. But that's the beauty of the gravel bike. It'll just go anywhere. Really no bike that can do what it does. Efficient road ride, some rougher gravel. It's capable. Bike packing, single track, definitely capable. So I almost like a mixed route better than all gravel. It's fun to tap into the versatility of what the gravel bike is capable of. And again, I'm always choosing the hills to have profound conversations. Very profound. That's the, oh, I think they call that like Adams Mountain or something like that. Yeah, gotcha. you, it looked like a trail went around it, but I couldn't tell if it went up to it. Oh, cool. I wouldn't mind trail running that at some point. Wow. These meadows are just like endless around here. You see deer jumping in and out. We saw one last night. It was pretty, pretty cool. And a buck. Yeah, we saw a big buck. That was awesome. If you were practicing with your drone and we shot, it, which was pretty incredible for the first flight out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love riding in these really rural parts of New England too, because it feel, everywhere just feels like a neighborhood. I grew up kind of playing, just like a kid riding my bike, around the neighborhood with my friends, just exploring even just a couple miles down the street. When you're a kid, you just, it just felt like it was a huge, you know, cross country adventure, you know, as you're finding new things and everything's just sort of new and fresh. That's how I feel riding here. Looks like a nice spot to just sit under that tree and read or relax and stare at the sky and just look at all the clouds. So good. <laughs>